Hello everyone, Lynn Wood here, and today I'm going to show you the divergent knot. Now, just to let you know, this is not a divergent knot in terms of the book series or the movie, even though it is a good book series, um, but I, I thought of it because divergent is, uh, by definition, to tend to be different or develop in a different uh, ways or situations, basically, and to me, this knot certainly tends to be different and lends itself to that rather well. And um, so to look at it when you are looking at it, it is, it is rather complex in terms of tying. It's probably one of my more difficult knots. So if you are just now starting out with me, I would recommend you start with a different knot and as you become more experienced to give this one a shot. Um, of course, if you haven't seen my last video, you can check it out right here. And we will go ahead and get started. Stick with me. Thumbs up if you like it. All right, so I've got my blade on my right side, my tail on my left side. I will let you know now this knot eats up a pretty good amount of fabric. So if you're a taller man or you have a larger neck, you'll want to go ahead and get an extra long tie, which uh, if you're doing intricate knots and you are a taller man, I would definitely suggest investing in some of those. You can get them from the CorbinCollection.com um, or places like uh, the LongTieStore.com and uh, be able to get those if you're interested in doing more intricate knots. Uh, that out of the way, let me just go ahead and get started. Um, so we're going to take and create our power crease as always. It's always my number one move. My tail of my tie is right at my belt line. So I'm going to go ahead and pull to the center, bring the tail on over the top. Up and through, just like that. Now I'm going to bring it back around to my left side underneath the center, up and through that center. And when you're pulling it down, just pull it down into the loop that you have created here. And as you're pulling, I want you to just go in there, like so, fold that baby in half. So we want to make sure our smooth side is facing downward, like this. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and take it and wrap it around the back. Let's tighten it up just a little more. Around the back, back around the front, and I'm going to take the tail end, and you guys can see I'm getting low on fabric here. Uh, I'm going to take it and just insert my finger right in here. Tuck the tail into that tie right on in there. So this is presently what we're looking like. It kind of favors the rally knot. So from there, I'm going to now take the tail end and bend it down, insert it through uh, this bottom portion here. And it's crazy, at this point, it kind of starts reminding me of like, uh, almost like, it's, it's crazy, like a Dodge Ram symbol or like a uterus. Um, but I would never name this the uterus knot, ever. Um, <laughs> Oh no, it's bad enough. I think probably the comment I get the most is that most of my knots look like the female anatomy. And um, I think that's a little, little strange, I guess. It's not on purpose, I promise. But that could explain some of their popularity, I suppose. Um, so I'm just going ahead and adjusting and pulling through there. Now I'm going to take my tail end here that I have left, turn it on up, and we're going to bring it up through this top portion here. Pull it directly through there, and we're going to take that extra bit there and tuck it under the middle. Now, of course, we're going to get into adjusting it and all that, because right now it's a little mm, all over the place and cattywampus. That's a southern word um, for you northerners. It's kind of lopsided and everywhere. It's not where I want it to be yet. So now we're just going to go in and adjust it. And if you like more of that exaggerated look, you can pull the centerpiece down more. Um, also, if you want it to look more like maybe a pretzel, you can do that. So this part is really up to your interpretation. And I know each of you have your own style and creativity. So at this point, you would take it and shape it to whatever suits you best. All right, let's just make sure we're visually pretty balanced. Looks like it's a little further extended there. Okay, and now we're going to turn that collar on down and make sure I have it centered. 
and I do. And there you have it, the divergent knot. So, um, like I said before, give it a thumbs up if you like it. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. I know this one here is very different, but for you who follow me and like my more intricate and detailed knots, this is definitely a good one for you. You may have to watch it a couple times and practice, but I guarantee you it is guaranteed to get tons of attention. I've gotten attention all day long, and I've worn this knot now probably four or five times uh, just trying to get it well enough to video and I've had several people ask me about how I tied it uh, and thought it was very appealing to look at and so I was a little surprised because usually when I go this far out of the box it's not always as well received so let me know what you think I would love to know in the comment box below and until next time you guys take care and God bless you fancy now Click on the center photo to see my video for the Vidalia Knot, or you can click on either of the bottom photos to find me on social media and see what I'm up to. Take care, you guys. You're fancy now.